Don't tell Greta. Don't tell Greta. This special guest each and every week and drinks that'll knock you off your seat. Love this best of secret show. It's Don't Tell Greta. Fill it all out, move forward, cool, we'll file with the FBI. Let us know if anything else happens. It's a sad world. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Okay, so I see a lot of familiar faces, which I knew was gonna happen because when we're here to celebrate like Rachel. Yeah. Everyone knows Rachel. Um, and what better person to celebrate with Rachel? Then Cody. Yeah. Hey, Wayne and Willa. Um, Wayne and Willa found this show because Cody is a bartender and they are at his bar constantly. Constantly. Uh, what bar is it? Oh, the laundry. The laundry. So like I could like check in there on Facebook and my mom will be like, oh he's just doing his laundry. <laughs> I love that, I love that. Well, happy Pride Month. Yeah. Um, I thought we'd start with a little uh, fun sing-along. And Brett, maybe you are totally free to steal this if you ever come back in the drag. But, um, <laughs> shit, I looked at the word and I immediately forgot it. What's the word for like a song that is in the same meter as another song so you can like sing all the lyrics over it? So you know how like, uh, what? You said something very confidently. You know, like how like the Pokemon theme song, you can do any like poem over it, and, like it fits. I don't. There's some word for it. Someone look it up. If whoever figures out, I'll find a shot. But um, how many of you love the chicks? Yeah. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, that it's formerly known as the Dixie Chicks, but they changed their name to the Chicks to like not be Dixie anymore. Um, but I figured out that this tune of the Dixie Chicks, Goodbye Earl, are the same song, okay? Uh, so once you figure out the game, can you all help me? Stars. She rolled my hair and put my lips in God in the glass of her boudoir. There's nothing wrong with loving who you are, she said, but he made you perfect, babe. So hold your head up, girl, and you'll go far. Listen to me when I say, I'm beautiful in my ways, got me through mistakes, I'm on the right track. Baby, I was born this way. Don't 
find yourself in regret Just love yourself and get set I'm on the right track Baby, I was born this way da, 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 da. It was 
Rocky Horror Picture Show. Year five. Oh, yeah. Hi, Greg. They're in the fry. Hi, Jeff. No, no, we'll wait. No, it's a different, there's like a weird music nerd word for it. Yeah. So Cody, Rocky Horror Picture, which makes sense with what we were saying backstage. Because you confessed to me that even though you studied musical theater and have a degree in musical theater, you know nothing about musical theater. Exactly. Yeah. I know almost nothing. There's only like a handful of songs that I do know. Yeah. And all of them are what type of song? A lot of ballads. But I also, but mostly, I know a bunch of like 70s and 80s rock songs. Yeah. That's, just kind of, that's just kind of like what I grew up with. So like Journey's Greatest Hits. I know every single song on that album because my parents listen to it all the time. Yeah. yeah. And um, you told me what you were singing right before we came on, and I do not remember. I am singing um, Don't Stop Me Now. <gasps> yeah! Um, a queen. Do you want me to change the key at all? No, I can do it. Do you think I can? Right. Sure. Yeah. Freddie, yeah. Mercury, Freddie Mercury's insane. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, stop. Thank you, Luke. You ready? I'm going to be starting now. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to have myself a real good time. I feel alive. And the world will turn it inside out. Yeah. I'm going around in ecstasy. So Thank you. 
Thank you. Have I mentioned how much I hate tatters? Yeah, you did. You told me that backstage. Let's lower the key. I went, what? I, I don't have to lower the key. I'll see it down the octave. <laughs> Oh, that was so good, Cody. Oh, yeah. Do you want a shot? Sure, I'll take one. Two shots. What are you going to sing for us next? Um, I'm going to sing Out There from Hunchback. <laughs> so I'm trying to like go back and forth between ballads and uptempos. But I think my next two are going to be also ballads. So. <laughs> what, what? Just kidding. <laughs> I was like, what, what do you think the last one fell into the category of? I would say it's a little up-tempo. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah. Would you all agree? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Um, cool, cool. Yeah, Hunchback is like, it's a beautiful song. I love it. It's a role that I would absolutely love to play. Um, I don't know. When the song gives you like an emotional response, this is like one of those songs. And I, I don't know, like I'm just one of those people of a song that, Gives me feelings because I know sometimes myself I'm afraid of feelings like when I have it. I don't know. Like ordinary men. 
walk about there just one day and then I swear I'll be content with my share won't regret won't despair won't invent I won't care I'll have stand one day out Are you going to audition for one of the two productions of Hunchback of Notre Dame and Columbus next year? I don't know yet. We'll see. You, you should. We'll see I mean, it's my year of yes. <gasps> so yeah. I feel like, honestly, I did it in 2019 and it worked out really, really well for me. So, everyone, you should have this year be your year of yes. So, cool we'll experiences. So with that in mind, reminder that Cody will be on the patio after the show and will say yes to anything. <laughs> you know, with those student loans starting again, I have to make money somehow, so. I mean, if we, it goes up there. We don't charge. Ah, oh, okay. We don't, it's, it's, it's for charities. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna see if this works now. I just reset my iPad, that's why I was, oh, I was stalling with that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for coming! Maybe it's just that song. Uh, yep, it's just that song. I don't know why. Awesome. And I am thrilled to welcome to the stage. She is the reason a lot of you are here because she is moving away. And I'll let you tell her, I'll let her tell you all more about that. Make some noise for Rachel Hurency. I would love that. So Rachel and I got to the bar at the same time, like parked and like both came in. And Rachel is a true performer because she looks like absolute shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like sweatpant, booty shorts, like <laughs> hair pulled up, no man. And I'm like getting out of the car in like a t shirt and like. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw your face, I was like, oh shoot, should I be ready already? Oh damn. But no, no I just was in, I was in drag this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, it was perfect. And I drove up here from Salina too, so I had an hour and a half. I was like, let's get comfy. Let's just, yeah. So, Salina. Later. Yeah, Salina. I want you to know that I have mispronounced that city's name for, for 27 years. <laughs> I literally had someone in college, you're like, are you sure it's oh. not Salina? I'm like, bitch, I grew up there. Yeah. I think I know. Yeah, but you're right, yeah. Are you driven? Yeah, I kept, I kept thinking I was spilling on myself and spilling on the table. No, that's there a whole thing. Thank you, Luke. Appreciate Blair it. Blair is trying to sabotage me. <laughs> that's it, that's it. What do I do, Blair? <laughs> yeah, for reference, if you're ever meeting a bartender, they will poke a hole in the bottom of your cup. <laughs> okay, so um, Rachel, yeah. you are moving. I'm moving. Like very soon. Like in two days? No. no. And I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm gonna say this, not to be an embarrassing way, but moving is expensive. Ooh. If you all haven't had to like put down first month's rent, last month's rent, uh, whole, all that shit, a whole thing. lot. Yeah, it definitely, it, it's been a headache. I'm like, I'll get to it, I've got months before I move, whatever, yeah. and now I'm so like, So you all have to help with that. <laughs> help with moving expenses. <laughs> oh. I am not moving, I but that. I have a wedding to pay for. <laughs> Most of you are not invited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair, yeah. Weddings yeah. are expensive. It's, yes, yeah. absolutely. We've got weddings, we've got movings, we've got, oh yes, and we've got because it's a bad badass, it's great. Yes, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you going to start with for us? Um, well, he gets it out yeah. with some queens, so I guess we'll do the same thing, won't we? I think we're going to do somebody to love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Um, it was funny, we were talking about what songs we were going to do, and he was like, well, I was thinking some queen. I was like, I was thinking some queen. Wait, wait. So it worked out that we didn't pick the same queen song. Is this but... song leaking too? What? Who? Who? <laughs> Blair, I think there's a faulty, there is a faulty stack of cups. <laughs> yes. There, we need to 
like four cups deep. How? <laughs> oh, I'm hard to need to go with it. I just have to drink it fast. That was passion. Well, that's true. Like there's nothing in the cup that it can. Give it a shake. There you go. <laughs>
queen. Everyone knows and loves queen. So they're like, yes, I'm sing with you. I'm like, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, when, we, when we were practicing before the show, Rachel was like, Cody, can you like sing that part? And Cody was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got everybody, so we need to worry about it. I love it, yeah. That's not so bad. Oh, yeah. So you're going to do more queen? I like to sing sometimes, yeah. What? Are you going to do more queen? Am I going to do more queen? Uh, I think Cody's going to do more queen. Cody's going to do more queen? He's going to do more queen. Not I. Unless I pull out of my pocket. I don't know what I would know besides that song. Yeah. I I don't know that I know all the words to any queen song. Oh, yeah. There's always a bit of like, you're like, yeah, I got it. Oh, no. Yeah. He's lyrically dense. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Well, they all sort of like opera, right? So they're like, this will never sell. And then everyone was like, fuck you, we love this. So yeah. And more of that place, yes. So what's your uh, next song going to be for us? I literally, I had to break my heart. I was like, what am I singing today? I don't remember. Um, so let's let's kick it up with some uh, Rocky Horror. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. One of my first roles in Columbus was actually Janet and Rocky Horror. Which was super fun. But today I'm not doing Janet. Oh my people! Yes, hello. Um, <laughs> um and uh, today I'm gonna do a little uh, Frankenfurter instead. Oh. So, yeah. 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 Something that you can wail on in the car. So. I am here for it. Let's do it. Let's see if I can seduce you. How do you do? I see you met my faithful handyman. He's just a little brought down because when you knocked, he thought you were the candy man. I mean, 
mean, they're they're I, all so good. They're all so good. <laughs> it's such a good show. Like, this is true. This is true. I want to be like Magenta. Oh yes, y'all lucky. They're lucky. We're all lucky. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love him. Let's welcome Cody back now. <laughs> and it's time for one of my favorite little games. Yes. And this game is called Dream Roll. to before the show backstage just be telling me like I don't know a lot of musical theater so like if I had a dream role it would be this show so if you could be any role in any Broadway show past or present off Broadway counts too regardless of age race gender voice type whether you would be cast or not and it is not Memphis <laughs> what show what show would you choose it would probably be funny girl as Fanny Bryce <gasps> Okay, well, you don't have to tell me right now. Oh, it's not Memphis and it's, it's not, not Funny all. Girl. Not at all. It's not Memphis and it's not Funny Girl. Now hold it in. Hold it in. Don't, don't blur. I'm going to keep out Joe to the no list. Okay. So um, go back and you have a moment to think. I'm going to bring you on one at a time and answer the question. And then you're going to sing something from that show. So, like, obviously yeah. have words, whole words. Do, do whatever. Cool? Maybe both lead? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so, in um, honor of Pride Month, my dream role is from a little show called. So little. So little, I can't even read it. Now, I, I, I was in front of a room of like 400 people this morning, and I was like, I can't talk and type. It's it's a it's just who I am. Right up. Uh, but it's a little show called La Cage. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, and I truly do love this show and love this role. And like, I'm far too young now to play it. <laughs> but maybe one day I'll be able to. Uh, so here's a little I am what I am. So go take a look and give me the hook for the ovation. It's my world that I want to have a little pride in. My world and it's not a place I have to hide in. Life's not worth a dare. Till you can say, hey world, I am what I am. I am what I am. I don't want praise. I don't want pity. I bang my own drum. Some things it's noise. I think it's pretty. And so if they love each feather and each spangle, well, I'm not try to see things from a different angle. Your life is a sham till you can shout out that I am what I am. I am what I am, and what I am needs no excuses. Sometimes the ace, sometimes the deuce. There's one life that I no returning, no deposit. One life, so it's hard to open up your closet. Life's not worth a damn till you can say.
tables because I had the internal. So, like those of you in the room who are singers, you know, like when you've sung all day and your voice is tired and you're like, I can do the G, don't do the G. I can do the G, don't do the G. I can, like, like the entire last verse that was like the ball out of my head. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Woo. Life's not the jam till you can say a world I am what I am. But to cry in front of me. 
So, fun fact, everyone. So, I, I did, so this is my one of my last contracts I did before COVID. I did it up in the Nantucket um, for a whole summer, and the actual. Wait, you did only Greece for a whole summer? Whole summer in Nantucket. In Nantucket. In Nantucket. The, the woman who played Rizzo actually is L on the tour of Legally Blonde right now. That's and you, you, know. you never threw some marbles on those stairs. Oh, I did not. But I will say one day, one day we went One day I will. One day I will. We went on a yacht with someone, and we were all day drinking, and I went back to do the show, and I walked out for Greece as the word, and I went, this is how the show's gonna go. Okay, you were in Nantucket, it was fine. Oh, yeah, it was fine. It was, it was fine. Where is Nantucket? It is next to Marcus Vineyard. It's actually an island. Oh. Marcus Vineyard is an island, if you didn't know that. We all knew that. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was a Californian. <laughs> Who was Martha and why was she growing grapes on an island? <laughs> These are my questions. That was me. I was like, where did I take it? Yeah, I took the, I took the contract without knowing where it was. So. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea where it was going. I love actors like you who just like don't read anything. Okay, okay cool, check. I'll do it. I love it. Make the noise for Tony! Yeah. Hey, Rachel! Yes. How are you doing? If you could be any role on Broadway, we got the age range, voice by gender, blah, 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 and it's not Memphis or Funny Girl or Grease now. I would like to sing that song again, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 actually Rizzo. Probably um, Jenna and Waitress, then. Yeah! Yeah? OK. okay. <laughs> you got options again? No one's ever done Waitress in this show. No, never. It's not even a popular show, if you're heard of it. Um, <laughs> what song are you thinking? I don't know. Um, what Banky can do? What Banky can do? That one was the other one, so we'll do the one that's not the one. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here is um, Rachel as Jedi. <laughs> Oh, 
sure if she's gonna keep it or not. And she's like, what? She's like trying to figure it out. And then the doctor leaves his wife and falls in love with her. He's a sexy doctor. Yeah. I don't know, sexy doctor. Yeah, sexy, sexy doctor leaves his wife, falls in love with the waitress. Mm -hmm. yep. And then we don't know what happens. Like, we, <laughs> but then her child runs out here and you're like, no, oh, it's a ghost baby. It's like, oh, are you happy at it? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is weird, this is weird. Yeah. But Sarah Brellis wrote the music, so it's okay. She should do it, so it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. There are some people who are like, that show should have won the Tony. And I'm like, why? <laughs> I, I do love it. Right. It's, we like to sing it, but it doesn't need to be the yeah. Tony. No, no, no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rachel. Yes. We have reached an admission. Oh, okay. By which I mean, I just have to pee. I also have to pee. That's perfect. 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 So. Okay. Um, what, what song would you like to listen to while we're peeing? Oh my god. Well, let's get a little, um, Don't Rain On My Parade. I love that. Oh, in honor of Cody. It's in honor of Cody not being able to sing it, yeah, so, yeah. Um, but... Oh, that's how good it is. He comes out. But the... To stop with Cody, can we make it the Leah Michelle Glee version? <laughs> Powerful. And the Glee version's not very long, so we need one more song. Okay, one more. Landon Willa. What other song would you like to hear while I pee? So, yeah. This is a very important question. How long do we have? Um, I need at least four minutes. <laughs> Stairway to heaven. <laughs> we would be back at 8 p.m. <laughs> so Great, Jeff, help it, help it. What you own from rent. All right, good choice. Yeah. Cool, so that is uh, the Leah Michelle Glee version of Don't Rain at My Parade. And uh, what you own from rent, I will not specify a version. Okay. Um, and we'll see you all in like five and a half minutes. And a slur that I'm allowed to say. And just me. So um, this weekend, as I said, I have lots of gigs. And the unfortunate part of all four of my gigs leading up to tonight was that they had to be family friendly. And that does not mean like drag design for children, but it means like, hey, you're singing in a library and there may be children around, so like, don't say fucking faggot on the mic. And I wish I was joking, but the director of Opera Columbus looked at me and was like, Greta, don't say faggot to me. It's a thing, I love it, I love it. Uh, so I did a library gig, and then I was at the Joseph Hotel, which is my new favorite gig. They invited me back, and I'm doing it all the time. I stood in the lobby at the bar, and just like, played pop songs and sang as people passed through checking in. It was the best thing ever. Like, it was great, fucking great. Like, wonderful, yeah. Um, and then I was at the, I had a private event yesterday that had kids at it. And then today I was at the Stonewall Pride kickoff brunch, which like had kids at it. And so, of course, like the first song in my set was Bitch. And I was like, I, I looked at Jenna was playing bass around and Jenna was like, um, we're gonna cut that one. I'm not gonna do that one, there's a kid in the front row. So. But one of my favorite Pride songs is the song that I wrote last year. And I really wanted to sing it because I wanted to like inform the people of the history. And so this came out of, we were talking in the dressing room and Hollywood had never done poppers. Oh dear. I think she's lying, but we immediately sent someone in their car, two torso on South High, 
to purchase some video head cleaner to bring back to like let Holly experience this. And it got me thinking, and I was like, how did how did gay people figure this out? Like where why why were we the community that like figured out like if you sniffed poppers, your butthole gets loose? <laughs> Like, like, where was, and so I, um, I dug into my grad school skills, and I did a lot of research. And I found this out, and I, this information was so shocking to me that I, like, had to write a song about it. Um, so this is called The Ballad of Allen Ginsberg. <laughs> Not that Allen Ginsberg. This is Allen Ginsberg, who worked at the RCA factory. The year was 1956, home movies were a new thing. The world seemed to document forever. A new problem arose, the VCR had to be clean. So kids were made a solution in the labs at the RCA. A soul went up to the task and with their first cleaning solution, a whiff in his nose. Suddenly he was overcome with the war. His face chance? was more. His arms were warm. The whole world was warm. And his butthole, it was relaxed. <laughs> Alvin Ginsberg, the popper's king. We owe him so much, he made something. Alvin Ginsberg, you relaxed him. Now some of you may ask, how did he get that first whiff? Thankfully for us, Alan was a klutz. One day in the lab, he was testing out new formulas when he heard a strange noise, and the bottle left from his hand. It shattered on the floor. He bit the ground erratically. Once it was stopped up, we think the movie, Hollywood or bust. You see, this movie had a scene where the hero uses chloroform to subdue the bad guy. So Alan had to try. He sat in the chair, pressed the cloth to his face, took a big deep breath, and his face was warm. His arms were warm. The whole world was warm. And his butthole, it was relaxed. Allen Ginsberg, the popper's king. We owe him so much, he made something. Allen Ginsberg, the last man, came and thank you for anal. <laughs> Some of you may wonder how Gabe had heard of his discovery. Well, Alan spent his nights at the Eagle in the basement. This fetish den filled with sin was the perfect place to see. If people like their speeches loose, just like Alan G. Everybody! Alan Ginsburg, the popper's king. We all have so much. He thinks of Colorful displays. You have to ask for a video head cleaner, or else it is illegal. <laughs> Thankfully for everyone, all gay men still have PC. <laughs> We all need to do it now that we all need. Uh, I've learned a lot about someone who knows nothing about poppers, I'm sure. Make some noise for Cody! What's that? What's that? That's poppers.
Never heard of that. I sang that song once and my mom was here. She, she like looked up, she was like, you should not inhale those chemicals. Hey? She's a chemist for a living. Like, bad. 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 I don't know what you're talking about. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Why do you have to hold my nostril, Cody? No comment. Allergies. <laughs> Is there any like straight people in the room who do not know what poppers are? Yes, I'm, sure. I'm looking at Wayne and Willa. <laughs> Willa, that face Willa just gave me, Willa knows what poppers are. <laughs> Did you raise your hand? Yeah. Okay, so poppers, if you did not gather them myself, are literally a video head cleaner. And they were sold in little bottles with like a like puff. And when you had VCRs, like you would take it and like wipe the head of the VCR thing and it would like yeah. clean it to let the tape run smooth. Okay. Gay men somehow figured out, as I just told you, that if you sniff this, you feel very warm and your sphincter muscle relaxes. I don't know why gay men find that useful, but they do. <laughs> And so to this day, if you walk into a gay store and you ask for video head cleaner, they will have multiple brands on the side of This one's called Royal Pain. This one's called Jungle Fever. This one's a, those are all actual brands. But you have to say video head cleaner. Or else it is illegal. This song was educational. Or you know. The more. I wish I knew the notes to that right now. The more you know. I'm going to learn that the next week. Um, I have no idea what you're saying. Um, let's do We Are the Champions by Queen. Ah, Pride or song. Queen. It's in your photos. No. I was wrong. That was the other one. Oh. Because the other one had like 7 million page turns and codas and coda twos and I'm like I can't do that. I'm drinking. I need to just go left to right. I hope I remember the words. Yeah, I have you to turn. I think my dude
You said that, I had never thought of that in my head. And I was just like, oh no, I think it's the same song. Where's the chorus? <laughs>
see her in Columbus for the immediate future, because we're going to make her fucking come back. <laughs> So I'm sure that I'm wrong because every other time I've been like, Hurt and Steve, Hurt and Steve. Hurt and Steve, Hurt and Steve, yeah. <laughs> After everybody's Hurt and Steve. I was yeah. right, I was right. Yeah. 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 It's all bad. I mean, that's all my life. It's, it's only like, your third. It's only your third time here, and I'm like, and that's finally, like, oh, like, like, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> how, how many years? What? You should know this from college. Stacy Hurt and Steve. Okay, I only know Stacy Rice. Stacy Rice now, yes. Stacy married Tony. Yes. And took the last name Rice. And so then, so fun fact, uh, Rachel's sister and I went to college together and we're like friends. But then <laughs> Stacy got married and messaged me on Facebook and was like, I heard a rumor that my sister's singing next week. I was like, who the fuck is your sister? Rice? Rice on the bill? Yeah. My favorite thing is when they go to a restaurant and they make a reservation, they're like, uh, Rice like the food. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's a great way to have a reservation, yes. <laughs> I love it. It's great, yeah. And you say her, her, and her and Steve. Her and Steve. Her and Steve. Her is her, 10, number 10, Steve. Um, like Baron Steve. Steve. Baron Steve Bruce, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole discussion, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> is anyone like, has anyone watched that movie Mandela Effect? Brett, you would like it. Yeah. <laughs> weird, weird. Well, that what are you gonna sing for us? Oh. Yeah. Um, See, this right. is that key part of the show where like I ask you, like I'm like, yeah, that's your next song. And I'm like, hi, I don't know. I had to literally write down, I was like, what am I singing today? Um, we do Ireland or Define Oh, Ireland. that's right, we're doing Ireland. Ireland, Ireland yes. I was like, let's do some of the big long for you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> the silly the silly character stuff, that's my wheelhouse. That's where I live. Yes. <laughs> I would, I would crush this role. I would love to see you in this role. It would, it would slay. Yes, hundred percent. I would do. I want to see you with Elle though. Is what I really want. Because you would also slay. You know all those songs. I don't have the nose for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that joke yeah. was too deep of a cut. Does no one, does no one know the nose drama? With with Elle Woods. No, with Laura Bell No. Oh my god, Eris, pull up the picture of Jumanji. <laughs> hey, you all know Laura Bell Bundy was the young girl in Jumanji. Did, did you all realize that? Oh, no. Yes. So Laura Bell Bundy is the child, the blonde girl, who like is in Jumanji. And Eris is going to pull this photo up of this child. You're changing my life right now. And then, and then you're going to picture Legally Blonde and be like, oh. That's her. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> she is literally the plot of chorus line. Like, fix your nose and you'll get everything. Good Yes. I will see that shit. <laughs> uh, Eris, how close are we? Very. 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 Eris also, my show is super low weighted, so Eris is usually like sitting in the back, like lounging, <laughs> scrolling through Facebook. <laughs> So when I ask for something, it is, a, it is an effort. <laughs> yeah, everyone make some noise for Aaron's great. Right? <laughs> okay, these TVs fuck it up. <laughs> oh, look at the sides. Look at the sides. Don't look there. There we go. Yes. Laura Bell Bundy and Jumanji. Laura Bell Bundy and Legally Blocked. What change? <laughs> Now the nose joke was funny. No, I can't. This is good. This is good. This is good. Actually, just leave that up while we sing Iron Man. I love that. Yeah. Get inspiration. My God. Well, she grew into her teeth. It's great. Yeah. All right. Well, Tess, Al, do you know the, uh, the what is the word? The Elf. reason behind all bad hair decisions. That's what it is. No. No? It's love. You're lost without your love. Your heart is on the floor. I can help you. I've been there before. When I need to relax, I just put on some tracks. From this CD I bought for the store. It's not relaxing. It's cold. I play this. 
this and it never fails. I pretend like I'm in Ireland with Enya and the whales.
Keep in mind it's never been published. So the only version that exists has like Stephen Schwartz's handwriting on multiple pages. Um, what page does Defiant Gravity start on in the score? 189. 287. 287. 189. I know, it's like playing the lottery. If anyone gets it correct, I will buy you a shot. 156. 242. 215. 215. 325. 69. 69. Cool, so most of you have been way over. Way over? Yeah. I feel like it's a giant yeah. nice score, is it not? It's not. It's, it's not a giant nice score. <laughs> okay. It's a two hour musical. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like more. 15. 25. 45. Yes, <laughs> 
connotation spell. Mm-hmm. I don't remember where this goes. Well, where are your wings, bitch? Where are your wings, bitch? Maybe you're not as powerful as you thought you were.
<laughs> okay, great. So, <laughs> uh, I am years old, and so I'm excited. Wait, wait, to can I that. underscore you while you like, Hell yes. while you tell the story? Hell yes. <laughs> I think the beautiful thing about this song is that as a theater person, we all, we all feel this way sometimes. It's funny, I think it's at my high school graduation, and I was like, I'm too young to really understand the complete thing about this song. But, it's so beautiful. Dancing in the backyard, pulling mustache and bar flowers, hearing Andrea McCarvel sing from the high flying deck. I've been waiting my whole life to find a way back to them. I aim for the sky, and I never hope to see so far. I'll conquer the world and be a star. I'll do it all. I would know that confidence if I knew the way back to them. So I built on my hometown and became the college theater door. I was east bound and down, moving to New York. So I crammed my life in a U Haul to find my part of the law. But the rules of all through the days, the years take us miles away from the time we wonder less. Find a way back to this. And when you least expect, opportunity walks through the door, you suddenly connect with the thing that you forgot that you were looking for. Um, yeah, because in 2018? 
2019. Right before COVID, yeah. We did next normal. And um, so, yeah, this is, we are um, mom and dad. This is my daughter. This is Holly. This is my son, Jim. And then my, my sexy doctor. We're going to sexy doctor. We'll talk about this. And then the boyfriend, right? So, yeah, oh, it was one of the most amazing experiences for us doing next normal together. So, we yeah. still. Yeah. We just couldn't let you go without singing this one last time. One more time. We're going to try to get you without, without two months ago. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. You people. I don't even know what we're doing, so <clears throat> what's up? Where is it in the show? Where is it in the show? Where is it in the show? I hope you remember. It was fantastic. It was going to be very interesting. It'll be fantastic. You better start this, girl. We need sunlight. First of all, we need some light. You can't sit here in the dark and all alone. It's a sorry sight. It's just you and me. We'll live, you'll see. Oh, I don't know this so much. <laughs>
Don't. 